The small format CNC can be an incredibly versatile addition to your shop, and your tooling choices can help you get the most out of it. Straight cutters will almost certainly be the primary bit that you use. You can get them in 1 16th to well over 1 inch in diameter, and which you choose should be based on the task at hand. The quarter inch straight bit is my go-to. I use it for grooving and cutting out parts and templates that I need, and even though it may not be the most efficient choice, I will often use it for milling pockets because then I don't have to do a separate program and a tool change. But of course using a larger diameter bit makes pocketing that much faster. Size really does matter. A 1 16th diameter bit allows me to use my CNC very much like a scroll saw, while a larger diameter bit takes a lot of the tedium out of flattening my spoil board. The right bit choice will make your operations much more efficient. The V-bit may seem simple, but it plays an outsized role in my CNC operations. Modern software packages make it very easy to do decorative carving on your projects using the V-bit. And it can be used to carve lettering in almost any font available on your computer. But the V-bit's role is not limited to just carving. The 90 degree V-bit is especially useful for pre-cutting miters exactly where they're needed reducing secondary operations after the CNC is finished. Coupled with the precision of the CNC system, ball nose bits are excellent for carving and shaping. Those with a larger diameter are excellent for quickly removing excess stock while still following the general carving shape. And then the finish work can be done by a finer bit, down to 1 32nd of an inch radius at the tip, providing excellent detail for your carvings. These finer ball nose bits, sometimes known as carving bits, used in combination with your regular straight cutting bits, allow for making intricate parts completely on the CNC bringing your shop capabilities to a whole new level. And while larger diameter straight bits are great for making pockets, dish carving bits combine a flat bottom with radius corners that create pockets with a coved bottom edge, specifically designed to make food service items easier to clean. Think of your bits as accessories for your CNC. Selecting the proper style of bit for the task at hand greatly increases the capabilities of your CNC work. You can choose to add decorative detail directly into your project, or create grooves and pockets that will allow you to add medallions, inlays, or other features later, and add features like handholds or hardware locations that are time consuming and difficult to add after the parts are off the CNC. But it really all comes together when you cut the parts out on the machine as well. Starting with a larger blank, doing your detail work first, and then cutting the part out on the CNC guarantees that all of these elements will be perfectly positioned to each other after you're done. And you're never limited to cutting just one piece on the CNC. The accuracy of the machines combined with the appropriate bits for each task gives you the ability to make a number of different parts that will seamlessly go together when you're finished. As your skills and confidence grow, the only real limit is your imagination. And even for those who enjoy and want to make all of their wooden components by hand, there is still a place for a CNC machine with the right tooling. 
the ability to make push sticks, feather boards, hold downs, and even templates can make your shop safer and more accurate and free up more time for doing traditional woodworking. Sometimes, even relatively small projects require a lot of hardware. This butler tray requires 8 hinges, and that means 16 mortises. Because of the locking mechanism on the butler hinge, each mortise has 3 steps in it. The right bits mounted into the CNC allows for both accurate milling of the mortises and accurately locating them in the proper places. Hopefully by now you're convinced that the right tools with your CNC will give you the best possible results. But just like when you started with your first hand router, there's a bewildering range of tools to choose from. So how do you decide where to begin? Well, Freud now offers two beginner sets of bits specifically designed for the CNC. One is a general purpose set and the other is designed more for sign makers. Whichever you choose, you'll have the basic bits needed to start getting great results from your CNC right off the bat.